How's it? Aloha. Hey, news. Yep, another newspaper. Today is Monday, August 17th. Hope you stay tuned for the... <laughs> I just done with my other video, the... Uh, Jeff the Talking Mangus. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff in that. I thought it was... Yeah, the chick's ventriloquist. But it, there's a lot of stuff in there. It's either a hoax or they had a pet demonic entity that they were feeding in their house. Okay. It said, I can kill ya. I can kill ya all. But I won't. Now, if something said that to me, I wouldn't be feeding it bananas and chocolate. Or maybe I would. Alright. So there's lots of little stuff. Um, Monday, there's probably lots of stuff. It's chuck full of stuff from the weekend. It's, you know, mixed bag. Watching my time and, and kind of watch my you knows and what's. It's like Toastmasters. Okay, so here we go. Some of these things. Eh. We have a lot of first for today. Uh, August 17th. Stay at home likely. That's right. Likely. So. This is likely to happen. And the pushback of September 1st is likely to happen. This is politicized stuff. This, they're just rolling it out. You know, they're using that. Roll, soft rollout is what they're doing. So basically this is going to happen. There's going to be a lockdown, which is a stay-at-home order. It's, this is the week of... So, <laughs> yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get there. Bam. And when they do that, they'll probably announce that the September 1st is pushed back. Bam. These haven't officially announced it yet. They're making everyone get used to it. So when it happens, they can go... Have a reaction, but th they're having a reaction. But they're already used to the idea that's going to happen. Playing the the politics, that's the people. So it's smart, but you know, kind of just friggin' do it. You know, jeez. So it says with a benchmark of three thousand active COVID nineteen cases surpassed, so three thousand cases surpassed. Another lockdown is on the table. So they're playing numbers too, which is a danger. And I'll get to that, I think. Sometimes I don't get to it. Chez la vie. Mangus Monday. Chez la vie. Whatever will be, will be. So, <clears throat> today is the first day of the Democratic Convention. Wow! We're finally getting into the actual campaign part of the politics since everyone campaigns 24-7, 365 days a year, 10 years out of a decade. Everyone's constantly, you know, battle campaigning and it's like a freaking civil war of politics inside the Capitol Hill, inside Congress, House of Representatives. In the hot Senate. <clears throat> so, so what you got going on is um, first day of Democratic Convention. It's in Milwaukee, <laughs> and they're going to be doing it virtual, right? Of course, virtual. So gather around your Zooms and your computers and Zoom rooms, and it's all going to be virtual. So I'm just thinking, <laughs> what's the point, right? I mean, you know those things. What's the point of those things in the first place? The balloons and the confetti come down. <laughs> you know, like they have these little animations that's supposed to make you happy. So, like, <laughs> they're in the Zoom meeting and the convention. 
and then all of a sudden there's like electronic graffiti balloons <laughs> animated balloons going up <laughs> okay whatever I'm sure that's gonna be no good for you guys um, I'm not against the Republican Party so much as I am against part of the party and the administration I'll just say it I'm not a fan speaking of not a fan President Solomon I guess President Donald Trump's brother died unknown cause they just he just died. They're not telling anybody how or what. He's 71. Uh, moving on. First day of conven uh, Democratic Convention. First day of school. That's right. Hey, teacher, leave those kids. As I might have mentioned, I was in the education what do you want to call it? Arena? Sphere? A education world of Warcraft? The education field, I think is what they're using, the battlefield. Um, I caught the tail end of the battlefield. It would, it, it's, that's not a pretty area. But anyways, not to mention my thing, but the education field in, the, in general, I have a little bit of <laughs> I've seen some things. But, uh, yeah, I don't know why I went off on a tangent all about It's all about me, that's why, because it's Mongoose Monday, and I am the talking mongoose. But I'm not Jeff! You know, that demonic talking mongoose on the Isle of Man. You know, nowadays it's a popular tourist attraction. They got, you know, it's Jeff time watches. They have Jeff the Mongoose tourist stuff, you know, it's like it's like Waikiki, you know, it's, 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 it's 1931 it was like a demonic infestation. Now it's like tourist time. But I ain't Jeff the Duncan Mongoose, but anyways, I I rule the world of ah, Mongoose Maxim Nido. Well, I don't actually, this, this is like all for you guys, really. I mean, it's for me too, but of course, I'm not going to be super dumb. So, welcome new subscribers. Welcome all the regular subscribers. If you watch, I've seen some people actually watching. Yeah, right on. Watch all the way to the end. Yeah. And don't forget, like, subscribe, make comments, you know. Yeah, it's a good comment to share it with your friends. Yeah. I share the loving with your friends. <laughs> Moving along. <clears throat> like button is down there. Go ahead. It's not going to bite you. It's free. <laughs> it's a... Anyways, yeah. First day of school. I pity the fools. You know, they're... And I, first, I had the first sense of compassion two teachers for the longest time. Except for ones I know. I know I know some good educators, really. And I'm not saying that in a broad stroke for all of them. But there are really good ones. And the field it's it is old school. Forgive that circular pun. But school is old school. And they're trying to modernize it. And in the melee of that confusion, it's really being buffed. Boofed, let's say, not buffed. But it's getting boofed, as in penned over. It's getting royally messed. And then you got a pandemic. It's the plague. So, ah, uh, I, 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 I. I can understand some of their concerns, but here's the first day of school, what it's going to look like. One teacher, six kids, <laughs> from four to six. <laughs> it's 
six kids in a classroom man that almost makes me want to sign up again we used to have maximum 35 kids and then there was like 37 34 and we have some extra and these are in special IEPs because we're having immersion yeah yeah labor force take advantage of that oh so I digress again first day of school good luck just learn how to learn keep uh, learning is good but never mind I too many rabbit holes I gotta get out of the field of rabbit holes it is also the first day of rim pack if you don't know what that is it sounds like a dirty strip bar rim pack <laughs> that's when they get all the, all the, the US Navy here and all these forces that work in conjunction military forces that work in conjunction with our Navy presence in Hawaii or Pearl Harbor and they do military exercises and all that and they <coughs> participate with other countries like especially in the Asian sphere the theater I don't know I don't know if they call it a theater when it's not wartime but whatever World War two is marching through <laughs> just hope it ain't World War three they won't be using conventional crap I know so Einstein says they Einstein quote they asked Einstein you know, hey what are they gonna be using in World War three what kind of weapons he goes I don't know but I tell you what they'll be using in World War four sticks and stones <laughs> heed somebody he was a philosopher kind of guy too he's cool of course get out of it now let me lock down this and that <coughs> not <coughs> I don't rip, rip through this, except for saying one thing, stay at home, order likely, and they're going, oh, we passed the 3,000 benchmark, yeah, right, they're playing the numbers, you know, the numbers, numbers, and, um, it's already, you know, hype, wear your mask, hype, wear your mask, hype, wear your mask, <coughs> excuse me, some, uh, ginger tea, Dang, it's still hot. Ginger tea. <sighs> I was on, I was in the car, went for a small errand, pick up my dip. Gotta have my dip. Bongo's Monday. And I heard the DJ in the radio. You know, this kind of a blog, blog, whatever is very DJ esque, except because you're pleasing the audience, I suppose, and people pleasing. You know, and uh, except I don't spin records unless you want to hear YouTube's YouTube's approved greatest hits, <laughs> non royalty. Some of them. Never mind. We'll go there. Rabbit hole. Burp. Rabbit. Squirrel. So <clears throat> the DJ on the radio says about the lockdown. He starts complaining about it. Now I understand. He's complaining, so he's audience who's hearing about it they relate to his complaining so it's like he as a DJ is on their side as radio listeners so he's gathering his audience close and I get it but whatever <laughs> but I was, I was listening to what he was complaining about he goes uh, oh yeah how he was complaining yeah they're going to lock down healthy people one thing he said and if I want to wear if I don't want to wear my mask stay away from people I get a I get a bad look so I have to walk on the other side of the street because they're wearing a mask and I'm not wearing a mask and then he calls them bozos because I'm enjoying the free air and the sunshine of love um yeah but don't call people wearing masks bozos you're being an a-hole by doing that but you're also gathering support to not wearing masks and he said locking up healthy people and I was just thinking about that you know <clears throat> not going over and say hey wear your mask and that push hey it's a cool thing it's like how cops used to do you know cops walking across the street look both ways and they make these little 
PSA. It's really cool to look both ways. Like if Mongoose Max was a cartoon character, which it is, <laughs> and, and he was admired by many people, which is Mongoose Invasion. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> if Mongoose Max was a popular cartoon character and he's like walking across the street, I'm looking both ways because it's cool for me to look both ways. You could be cool like Mongoose Max is cool to look both ways before you walk the across the street. You used to do those kind of things? Yeah, yeah. That days are over with, with this mask wearing. They're beefing up the walk, the drive through uh, testing, so there's going to be mass numbers because of the drive through testing. Oh, by the way, our. Uh, hello. What the heck was that? Some dinghy on my phone. So, um, our today number is 220. So the. Eh, it ain't going down. That's what it ain't going to do. Excuse me while I. My phone is making. making some type of alert. Oh, somebody else said we should put COVID apps on our phone. Why? People. I guess people might listen to their phone. First day of school. And. Okay, so numbers. And this idea of numbers. It's, it's beyond numbers, right? It's not, it's an organic thing. The numbers are just, you know, they're sort of like meant to get your ass together, wear a mask. And now everyone's like, yeah, but the numbers are small relative to the other the numbers and some of the numbers that are tested positive because of the other It's like, get a grip. Court orders some inmates released. Okay, now these are non-violent inmates they say but the defense people are like the the, the court the judges are going to order uh, like maybe 200 released by Wednesday that can make their bail maybe the probation it's minor kind of stuff but they're in prison for the minor thing and they're going to release them and duh the other guy is going, that's not enough. It's a meager start. More release of the prisons. Open the gates. Let them all out. Because they're having outbreaks inside the prison. And then everybody, and then the prisoners are getting antsy. And they're getting antsy. Damn, man, you open it all up. I mean, what does it matter? You get virus inside the prison or you let them out and get virus outside with people who are not wearing masks <laughs> what was the point you start letting too many prisoners out and starts going like that it's gonna be thunderdome beats zombie apocalypse okay we did that we did that in the twin endemic so people who are fearing getting their flu vaccination we might have a flu season bouncing back and forth with the COVID season and they're gonna have a twindemic. We even got a name for it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so nice. And farmlands and this and that and auto sales are down and and scientists are I forget what else is on here. I don't know if there's something in here. I don't even know if there was oh yeah President Bro died and the older brother or younger brother? Okay. So now the let me oh crap. Okay. Just keep calm. Keep calm and move on. Okay, so in the light of the distraction of politics, let's look at some of the letters to the editor. Yes, shouldn't we? Yes, I don't know. But you're just gonna make fun of them, of course. <laughs> Cause that's what's called commentary. Yeah, this one says cell phone alerts for COVID updates. Eh, I don't know. Well, you can agree with me or not agree with me. It's just opinions. Like, it is opinion. Everybody has one. This is opinion fest time. So this is cool. It's freedom of expression. Recommend using extreme weather alert. Oh, stop spreading the virus. 
in there. But all people, just, yeah, all people must participate to stop the COVID-19. Absolutely. It's not a debate. It's not a taking away your freedom. What the hell? But I'm still wondering if this imprisoning the they're, they're, they're imprisoning us healthy free people and they're letting sick convicts out of the prison and people get all these bad ideas okay it's not really how that you gotta get a perspective not just the info you gotta go from info to knowledge to wisdom and I'm here to help you as Mongoose Max destroy any iota of wisdom you might have constructed so far. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Our health and safety must be top priority. Absolutely. Yeah. Fighting coronavirus is our patriotic duty. No, it isn't. Fighting the coronavirus is your duty as a human being to humanity. But equating it to the patriotic duty might help people do something they should be doing. Whatever happened to patriotism? The, the, the World War II women in factory could... World War II again. Even as kids went door-to-door -door collecting cans and scrap metal camping. Some of the biggest flag huggers won't even wear a mask. They should hug the flag over their face. Hey folks, Rosie the Riveter would have worn a mask. Because she worked in a factory. Anyways, yeah, I agree with you, but thanks for your World War II metaphor analogy. Our health and safety must... Actually, World War II. I don't have time for that. Speaking of political, like, World War II shit, you know, there is another thing I wanted to point out. I didn't quite get it. I didn't quite get it, did I? This is the puppy. Belarusian Belarusian protesters that in Belarus where Winx is minutes after President Alexander Luskoskosko of Belarus vowed to stand firm against protesters he reviles as rats trash and bandits Anti-government demonstrations staged their biggest protest yet Sunday to oppose the fraud tainted presidential election a week earlier. Just saying, there's other countries going through stuff that we can learn from. Is it? Yeah, never mind. Ooh. Patriotic duty. Mm -hmm. uh, our health and safety must be top priority. Absolutely. Thanks to Star Advertiser, the paper. Keep Hawaii informed about most current situations here in Hawaii. You can only judge the validity of what is being written locally as residents see firsthand what is really happening here in Hawaii. It's diff difficult to believe what is really happening nationally because of the abundance of information and misinformation being shared on social media, we just need to focus on what we can control locally to get through this pandemic. Absolutely. But Ohana family, Hawaiian family, Ohana, or extended family, <coughs> of all Hawaii people and anywhere, the same should, should be the same principle. Local governments will never make the right decisions to satisfy everyone's concerns because they're people pleasing, they want votes. But decisions will be need to be made regardless because the numbers force them to still vote for me though. See the mentality. Decisions meaning I believe the priority should be save should be to save lives. Yeah. Everyone needs to follow the simple task of wearing masks, social distancing, practicing proper hygiene. Is this asking too much? Absolutely, Alvin Tanaka of Mililani. You are spot on and well written. Very good. Now that's a nice, clean letter to the editor. Is this asking too much? Apparently for a lot of people it is. <laughs> but he gave kudos to, like, you know, good, clean journalism. 
Jen, the facts. Look, I'm doing right now. And then the facts inside my mind, which I think are facts, but they might not be your facts, because what is truth? Are my truths different from your truths? Crucify him! <laughs> Listening to Jesus Christ Superstar soundtrack. Ding, 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 ding. I can see clear. Judas song on Jesus Christ Superstar. Do, do, I see clear. <laughs> Good song, good lyrics. I can't believe that same guy later on wrote Cats. What's up with that? Unfair city, unfair to close Oahu bowling alleys. Sorry, yeah, it's apparently it likes bowling alleys, but sorry. Comparing him to gyms is not gonna help you. It's just one of those casualties of this shit. Here we go, back to numbers. This is what I'm. This graphs should show more than new cases. Regarding publishing new corona cases is very misleading and probably causing fear in the community. Your graphs do not compare the new cases to anything. You know, I get my like little weird voice going on for this. And you use the number of new cases as high value in the graph. If you want the graph to be meaningful, I would suggest using a graph that compares the number of cases to both the number of tests performed and the number of active cases, possibly including the number of hospitalizations. These compares... <laughs> I'm not imitating anybody. <clears throat> These comparisons would show a much different picture on one you are presenting. It also useful in the number of local populations or percentages of active cases. Wait numbers of local population to show the percentages of active cases etc versus the population are very small so this guy is saying oh you're just scaremongering because you're showing the numbers of the active cases mm -hmm. if you show versus the percentage it's really small another case of the numbers are really small we don't need to pay attention to that you're just fearmongering i'll do whatever the heck i want <clears> he <throat> double hockey sticks i want and so Look, it, you know, number of deaths is like 1 to 2%. <clears throat> so if you showed a graph with the total population anywhere, total population, and then you're going to have like 1 or 2%, and you're going to go, see, it's insignificant. No. You have a skewed graph already. Ah, waste the whole graph. Ah, yeah. I wasted my time trying to make this small, short... All right, you know what I'm saying? It's like, mm, look at it this way. The Black Plague of Europe in medieval times is a nice little example to study, if you'd like. It's well studied and easy. One third of the population. So, you're going to show a graph like this. Two thirds of the population are healthy. And they don't, they're, they're probably they're practicing herd immunity. What? <laughs> That's a blind death. One third of the population dead. About. Wiped out from the map. But two thirds. Now, it's it's more like, you know, go for the fear mongering already because people aren't. They're not buying it anyways. You know? F it. Don't, you know, waste any anxiety. Just. Do it for yourself, you know? If I'm home, I'm healthy, but I feel caged in. I don't want to run out with no mask. I'm free to breathe in the air <gasps> and then get it. The reason you're home and you're healthy, the reason that is is because at least some people are masking and distancing. Two thirds of the population unhealthy, but one third dead. So, if you went for the bubonic plague, it would be like there's three people standing, you're standing there talking, there's two other people. Either the person to your left, the person to your right, or yourself are going to be dead. <laughs> so, that's like, fuck. Anyways, okay. I've already blew my, whatever, freaking time limits thing. That was freaking. Gong! Where the gong shows? This one here. One more. One more for. Mongoose and Jeff the Mongoose. 
He said he was part of the fifth. The, he was the fifth dimension. Here. <coughs> Economics is science, not a political tool. I want to compliment Mikhail Hicks for his wonderful commentary on the problems of economic diversification. Ooh. He wrote an article in Island Voices. The real problem, though, is almost total lack of understanding amongst our citizenry of how markets operate. Really now? It is because of this economic ignorance that intelligent analysis, instead of pandering to the idea that the government can wave some magic wand, la 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 la, and create a strong economy by fiat, that's paper money, papers and going, is what seems to sell here. I hope Mr. Hicks will continue to be involved in this discussion. For me, as a libertarian, <coughs> I wouldn't put a label on myself, it often feels very lonely being the only person in the room who sees economics as a science to be understood rather than a set of political fallacies and wishful thinking. I won't say your name out of respect, but she's the chair of, or it might be a guy, it's one of those names, chair of the Libertarian Party of Hawaii. Well, I'll tell you one thing, chair, Mr. and Mrs. Chair, uh, <clears throat> chairperson, I'll tell you one thing, as a Libertarian that you claim to be, that's nice, I, I don't like political ideology labels for myself. I don't even like the Democratic or Republican Party labels. I just don't like these labels. Even George Washington was against political parties. But social sciences is not real science. It's not a hard science. It's, not, it's a soft science. It's not hard. They use statistics a lot so they can call themselves social scientists <laughs> just, just puffing up the name <clears throat> just like economy is not so science just because you have statistics and analytics of market analytics and those kind of metrics doesn't make it a science not a hard science it's an organic thing economics is a social science and people buy and sell because they feel that they can and then then it gets into the political system yeah larger groups of market and forces and such but it's organic it's operated by the people so it, it is always going to be a political thing economics and politics are linked at the hip and hang loose happy mongoose monday i guess that's why mondays like this the next time, watch some of the videos. Aloha. Aloha.